Hi guys, PJ here. Today I'm going to quickly show you how to remove the radio on a 2019 Fiat Ducato. This is actually a full camper conversion one. It's a very easy job to do, so let's get straight on to it. Okay, you're going to be needing a pair of these release keys that are available from most car shops and, uh, you know, eBay, Amazon, normal places. Basically pop them in the holes. You hear a click when they're in the right place. Sometimes they can be a bit stubborn, as you've just seen there. You hear the click. And then what you're going to do is spread them. So you're going to pull them apart. You're going to need both hands to do this. And I recommend you put a padding or a rag over your heater and over the bottom half because the back of this is steel. You don't want to pull it forward and scratch all this nice fascia that's on a lot of these vehicles. So just bear that in mind or at least support the weight of it as it comes out. There's the unit pulled forwards. There's the steel, what I was on about. So you're going to have to pull this all the way out to get to the wiring connectors. With the radio removed, I can quickly show you the plug. There's the multi-plug that holds it in. It's on like a, a bracket. So what you do, it's flat when it's in the radio like this. You push this pin in and then it basically rotates it over like that and pushes the connector out. We also have FACRA aerial connectors. So you're probably going to need an adapter, which I'll show you very, very shortly. And another cable there. The next thing we're going to do is remove this cage. So you're going to need your TX25 sort of driver to go in one, two, three, four, and we're gonna remove the entire cage. Okay, guys, quick update for you. I thought I might as well, seeing as I'm taking it all apart. There's the quad lock plugged in correctly. Aerial adapter plugged in correctly. It comes down to here, look. There's your steering control interface with its little adapter wire plugged in there. Here we have, coming down here, we've taken a splice off for the power for the DAB aerial. So that's plugged into the blue wire. It goes into here there you go that blue wire there look and also we've crimped in the green wire which is the parking brake wire crimp that into the black earth wire and that is so you can have the screen on while the engine is running okay so the actual radio itself we're fitting a pioneer da 160 dab there you go and there we are that's with the fascia and everything we'll now pop this together and finish putting the vehicle back together uh, quick note, by the way, microphone on this is up here. The wire is not actually long enough to go all the way around the window to the mirror. Okay, let's put a bit of context onto the hacksaw in that you just saw. These particular vehicles, this is like the bottom tray of where the old radio set, they're the bottom mounting screws. You have to chop out this section of the dashboard to do a double din conversion and on this particular vehicle as you've already seen i am doing a double din conversion so you know the easiest way is normally just to hack so across all the logs and pop it out and that enables you to do that so it's all clicked in i haven't clicked the top in yet because i'm still faffing around with it but basically your new facial once it's lined up properly and you've chopped that bottom section out the whole thing clicks in and holds itself in place so it's, it's quite a nice look as you can see you know it does look really nice and it does match really well as well so yeah just thought i'd add that to the video guys just so you can see you've got a you know hacksaw basically straight down and then across one log across the middle log across the other log and across the last log take the section out i do it in three bits i remove one side then the other and then i also remove all the bottom stuff thanks Steve. thank you I do just quickly need to point out with these particular vehicles that on some of them, the old radio is sort of tied into the ECU. Now, sort of tied into the alarm system, to be more precise. And what can happen is when you pull it out, you can have your mileage display flashing on and off. This is a problem and the main dealer would need to basically erase it from the ECU so it's not checking to see if the radio is still there. So it's a bit of a heads up. Some of them do this, some of them don't. There's no way to tell until you actually pull the radio out. I've done quite a few where they've been absolutely fine and I've done a couple where the mileage flashes and you're left with either going to the dealer, which is roughly a £150 bill, or putting the original radio back in. There we go, guys. Fully finished article. Everything nicely clipped in and flush as it should be. Steering controls. There you go, all working. Thanks a lot for watching and bye for now.